God, by saying that he is to you the Lord God, is saying, listen, you know me by this name because there's some things I'm going to do for you. We've entered into a covenant. I promise to do some things in your life. I promise to take care of you. I promise to protect you. And so, listen, I haven't given that promise to anything else on this planet, but man, you got it. Get this now, get this now, get this now. What does the scripture say? I've never seen the what? Righteous forsaken, nor his seed what? Begging bread. Hear what I'm telling you. Hear what I'm telling you. The reason that the term is righteous is used is because righteousness is a part of the covenant. Listen, the Bible says he that knew no sin became sin for us so that we might become the what? Righteousness of God. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. What's God saying? I made a covenant to protect you. I made, I made a covenant to take care of you. I promised to do stuff for you that I didn't promise to do for anything else. Hear me clearly now. Not even the angels. Get this, get this, get this, get this. What does the scripture say? The scripture says that one day there was a nosy angel that was looking at you and was wondering about you and said, what is man that he's mindful of him? What is the son of man that you visit him? What's so special about man? I, what, what I'm saying is, understand what I'm telling you. The angels only know him as Elohim. Because why? There's no covenant there. There's, no, there's not the same type of relationship there. And that's why the angels can only see his glory, can only see his power. They don't know him as Father. They don't know him as Jehovah. And so when he shows up, the only part of him, the only part of his personality they see is the power of God. And that's why when they're in his presence, all they can say is holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Because that's the only side of him they're able to see. But me and you, we can enter in. Me and you, we can call him daddy. Me and you, we can call him father. Because he says, I'm giving you a position that they don't have. Now get this now, get this now, get this now, get this now. What is man that you're mindful of him? The son of man that you visit him. Notice what the Bible says. The Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie. I need you to get what I'm telling you. When God showed up and made a covenant, he said, man, if you do this, I'm going to bless you. Man, this is what I'm going to be to you, and this is what you're going to be to me. Oh, God, I'm waiting on you to get it. Get what I'm saying. Get what I'm saying. Get what I'm saying. Get what I'm saying. God showed up and said, I'm going to be your provider. I'm going to be your healer. I'm going to be your peace. Notice what I'm telling you now. He never told the angels he'd be any of that to them. But he takes you. Made from the dust of the ground, the lowly of things, the lowest of things. And he said, I'm going to make a covenant with you. I'm going to make a part. Listen, listen, listen now. And listen, the, the great thing about it is you didn't do anything to deserve it. He just said, because I've decided to. Because I've made up in my mind to love you, this is what I'm going to do. Now, now, I need you to see this. I need you to see this. Go, go, to, go to Hebrews 6. Go to Hebrews 6. Go to Hebrews 6. This is going to blow you away. Go to Hebrews 6. Because, see, we got people in church, churching it, religion it, and they're using his name, and they don't even know what's behind it. They don't understand the covenant that's behind it. They don't understand the promises that's behind it. And so that's why you got people coming to church, but their life is a mess. They never have any victory. They never have any power because they don't know what's in the name, and they don't know what's behind the covenant. And I'm telling you, I, I believe there are a people that are sick and tired of shouting and not having victory. Sick and tired of praising and not seeing results. But see, religion will always keep you. See, religion doesn't know him as Jehovah. They know him as Elohim. Get this now. Go to Hebrews 6. You there? Look at verse 13. Look at verse 13. Look at what it says. Oh, God, when you get this in your spirit. Look at verse 13. When God made his promise to Abraham, oh, hear what I'm telling you. Since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself. Oh, God, look at this. Saying, I will surely bless you and give you many descendants. And so after waiting, Abraham received what was promised. Now, let's go back to verse 13 because we don't get this. See, we, we, we receive a promise from, from God. And then we leave out the covenant part of it. We leave out his character part of it. And so we don't always receive it as we should. But look at what he said. Look at what he said. When God made his promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself. 
Prophet, what are you saying? What I'm saying is, God decided, Abraham, when I make a promise to you, when I make covenant with you, I'm going to swear by myself. Amen. What's that mean? If I don't do what I said I'm going to do, if I don't bring the promise to pass, I'm going to cease to exist. You don't understand what I'm telling you. He said he swore by himself. God. Hear what I'm telling you. When you swear by something, you putting it down as collateral. Amen. Oh, God. Listen. I swear I'm going to bring your car back. So I'm going to give you my driver's license. I'm going to give you my credit card number. I'm giving you some collateral. I'm going to give you my keys to let you know I'm coming back. What happens if you don't come back? I got the keys. I got the car. Abraham, I'm going to swear by myself. So if I don't bring your promise to pass, since I'm putting myself down as collateral, I got to cease to exist. If God doesn't do what he promised to do in your life, He's got to cease to exist. And so you need to understand when God promises you something, he's not a man that he should lie. If he made the promise, he's got to bring it to pass. If he doesn't bring it to pass, everything you know, everything around you has to cease to exist.